first before we begin the tutorial I just wanted to show you the finished product of the simple uh, demonstration of what I'm creating here hey there in this flash tutorial I'll be showing you I'll be working in CS3 in this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use the Swift 3D Express plugin which is a 3D extension for Adobe Flash and it's $129 from eRain uh, Electric Rain's website, it's erain.com. It's e r a i n dot com, and you can go there and check it all about the Swift, the Swift 3D uh, Express plugin for Flash. And Swift 3D is also a a standalone application that lets you model nice 3D uh, uh, polygon models, polygon meshes, and animate them make movies, SWF files, it renders out SWF files and if you have the plugin it, it will render out uh, movie clips straight into Flash which is really cool so uh, I'm gonna go to Flash which I have an ActionScript 3 file already open and you can have ActionScript 2 file for this it's a, it doesn't matter and I'm in Flash CS3 but you can be in Flash 8 if you like uh, both will will take the plugin and um, so what I'm going to do is draw out a shape with the pen tool and I'm just going to make a quick shape just for demonstration purposes and say you have a a specialized logo shape a logo that you use for your company and you'd like to make it um, 3D spin around put all kind of cool lighting and rendering effects on it so what we'll do is we'll get rid of that line the outline so we just have a fill and now if you have your plugin connected which they tell you how to do when you buy the uh, the Swift 3D Express for Flash um, you'll see in your commands menu when you have something highlighted on stage it'll bring it straight into Swift 3D automatically through the plugin in your commands menu you go to Swift 3D Express so I press Swift 3D Express and there is my uh, little logo shape or whatever shape you can, this can be text too actually you can put in flash any text font style you bring in and just uh, bring it straight into the plugin in Swift 3D so now I'll go to materials and there's all kind of cool things you can do in here and I suggest you look around in here uh, and figure out all the things you can do and I, I think I'll do some more tutorials on this as well but if you go down to materials here you'll see that there's reflective all kind of cool stuff so in reflective I'm gonna pick a, like a gold put that gold reflective on it and actually I'm gonna go to glossy and put the orange on it match develop PHP colors uh, okay so let's go to sizing and let's resize this thing make it a little bit more narrow there less, a little less deep and a little less high a little shorter and that looks good so that's our custom shape and uh, we're gonna put an animation on it you can do custom animations on this and uh, if you're going to do custom animations with Swift 3D, I recommend doing it in the standalone application, Swift 3D version 5.0. That way you can render out SWFs and have a little more control over your models, the way they look, the way they they uh, render out, and the way they uh, the way you can um, do advanced uh, modeling in the advanced modeler so let's uh, go to animation tab down here and we'll take uh, a regular spin horizontal spin and once I drag that to it now I press the play button and there's my cool fancy new logo spinning around and I want to make it a little bit deeper give it more depth let's make it a little deeper and uh, all we have to do is press render and export to flash if that's all you want to do to it and for demonstration purposes that's all I'm going to do to it and over here I'm going to select uh, it says cartoon average color fill and that's fine and I'm going to select include specular highlights include reflections and include shadows put the check in all those boxes and then 
click raster you can do vector or raster in this case I'm going to do raster make sure the bitmap compression is uh, a little bit on the higher side and that's pretty much it you render in the frames and you'll see that this thing it'll start to render out the 3d frames according to the animation you set and the model that's there and you can see the specular highlights shadows lighting highlights which are the specular highlights uh, but this will just take a second and once it renders out all the frames we're gonna bring it into flash as a movie clip which is really cool and then you can control it in flash if you want it to stop when the user's mouse goes over it you can do that so right here when it renders all the frames out you press create flash movie clip and there we are in flash and press F12 to publish voila I have a movie clip in flash that is 3D instant awesome my logo you cannot be that uh, workflow that is so quick to do really nice graphics and everybody's starting to implement 3D graphics on the websites nowadays so you better hop on board or you'll be left behind okay we'll see you guys next lesson uh, like I said this is a movie clip you give it an instance name and you can control it just like any other button or movie clip in flash okay okay and action script 3 or action script 2 or action script 1 okay we'll see you guys next lesson